Hello, my beautiful, beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio and happy New Year's Day Eve. Eve Eve of New Year's Day. <laughs> It's New Year's Eve day. That's it. Happy, happy. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette, your vintage paper girl. I don't know if I said that, but welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome to all of my continuing subscribers who come back and watch each and every time. You guys are so important to me. Thank you. Thank you. And I have, I wanted to do the part two of our Frozen Roses folio. Well, it's really a Frozen Roses clutch tag holder. <laughs> it's a folio as, as we always know you know but this one's mainly going to be to hold tags so it doesn't have any other purpose you could sew a signature in it so today um i have out some of the things we're going to be working with and we're going to go ahead and finish this um because i promised i would do one and uh, part one and two on video i could have finished this at home you know and at home i could have finished this off video fairly quickly but i decided i would do it with you guys because it's such a beautiful paper i really have enjoyed working with this now i want you to know these pockets gave me nothing but fits um so i recut them completely i cut off the fold down part and i ended up just putting them together and cutting them and going forget it rounding the one corner and then I'll put them on so that they're even, you know, right here uh, in the middle. Uh, I also did stitch around it um, because I felt like the pockets looked too plain. If you don't stitch, don't worry about it. It does make it a lot busier. Um, but I found with this particular piece, I really wanted to finish it off nicely because at some point it will go into my shop for sale. And I wanted it to be nice for whoever, you know, chose to buy it. So I did go ahead and stitch it. Uh, I haven't done any gosh stitching on my sewing machine in oh, months probably I don't know three four months I haven't done any stitching so it was fun uh I it, this is very heavy with both pieces and with the envelope in the middle but my machine just sewed it like butter so no issues there Alrighty, uh, I did bring along some words these are all from a jewel design you'll find the link for the shop which is my shop and my daughter's shop you'll find that link in the um thank you honey You'll find that link in our drop-down box. You know, that little box underneath with the V and you hit that and it drops down for descriptions. There is a link to the directly to the shop where you can find all of her lovely words. Uh, I have a number of different kinds here to play with. And if I use them, I'll try to tell you if I know the name. I don't always know the names to them, but because I just use them. She makes them for me and I use them. So uh, I also have some laces that we're going to use. And I brought along some of... Um, the cut aparts that we're going to put in to the pockets and some goodies to make some tags. I also grabbed my polka dot vellum. White plain vellum is fine. Any kind of whatever you want to use for your pockets and I'll show you why. And then I have some of my patterns that I use to cut out my tags. So I think I have everything I need. I've got my glues and my scissors and all that good stuff. So I think we're good to go. Uh, I think we're ready. So, oh, whoops, let me take the lace off. We don't need that one. This lace came from uh, Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Emily is the owner there. She does have some pretty lace pieces in her shop, or at least she did. She's having a sale till the very end of the month, so get on over there and see if maybe you can pick some up. I grabbed quite a few of her lace pieces. Uh, her She had some pretty uh, vintage placemat lace so I went and grabbed that uh, and I hopefully I'll get that in a few days she already shipped it out to me right away she's just fabulous customer service she is wonderful wonderful I love her um she lives up in Oregon where my um husband's family is from we have family up there so and she does follow along here when she has time which I don't know when that would be <laughs> she's a busy girl <laughs> so I get all of my I wouldn't say all the majority of my coffee dyed stuff from Emily a lot of my vintage pieces come from Hershey and I both love, you know, collecting retro and vintage pieces, not just lace, but books and papers and all kinds of fun things. And then I get also a lot of my coffee dyed from vintage, um, triple V, triple V vintage. Now, someone did ask me where I get my laces. And what I want to tell you is these laces right here are vintage. These are from my stash, from my, my stash and my mom's stash. Um, and because I used to do wedding apparel, things like garter belts and uh, garters and ring bearer pillows, you know, veils, stuff like that. 
but also from my seamstress business and then my crafting business. So, cause I crafted and made dolls and bears and bunnies and all that fun stuff in the seventies and eighties. And so did my mom. So, and she was a professional seamstress her whole life. So I have a very big stash of laces. Occasionally I will buy lace. I buy them from Triple V Vintage um, from S M Tiffany and Company. Let me double check my notes. Um, I think it's S M. I think I said that right. I always say it wrong, you guys. Sorry. I do want to give you the right name. I'm looking through my notes because I have notes. Yeah, S M Tiffany and Co. I get a lot of laces from her. Um, so. If you need laces, go to those ladies. Otherwise, all I really do is when I'm looking for a lace and I want like, let's say, tiny little laces, I'll, I'll put in narrow vintage lace and they'll pop up. So I get those from like a variety of places and it's never the same shop usually. Uh, but my main ones are, and I just told you who they were, Vintage Polka Dot, Triple V Vintage and SM Tiffany Company for lace. So... Try those if you're not finding lace, but know that the majority, and I mean the majority, if I'm not telling you where it came from, is because it came from my stash. So that's, these are from my stash. And you can't get it unless I happen to sell it, which I'm not going to. I'm never parting with my laces. I, I did send some to a friend, but, you know, that's about it for that. So let's get busy on this. I am going to use my, um, assuming it works today, I'm going to warm it up a little. My hands are pretty warm. It is cold today here in California. It's, it's the high 40s. It's been raining for over a week, so it's very damp. This morning we had fog on the ground. Like you couldn't see across the street. Wet fog. So um, it's kind of a cold day in my studio. I do have the window open right now because the sun is streaming in. It is a gorgeous blue sky out there. Everything's turning green. I did take a picture on my iPad a minute ago, so let me see if I can find that picture and I will show you guys what it looks like today here in California. Which those of you in the snow, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it to make you jealous, but look at that. That's what it looks like outside. That's out my back patio and that's the hill I talk about and that's our beautiful blue sky. And what you see hanging down are some icicle lights. We put those up on the back patio because it's dark as heck out there. So that's what it looks like today. It is Thursday, the day before New Year's Eve day. And um, I'm filming today for Friday. So you'll see this on Friday. So now I've chit-chatted your ears off. There's the chat part of the craft. <laughs> and I told you there'd be times I would have things to, you know, chat with you about. <laughs> so hopefully we've given my, um, I don't know, it's a little thick yet, but... There we go. It's coming out now. I just needed to give it a good squeeze because, you know, they get little air pockets in it. Even if I keep it filled up, unless I fill it up to the very tippy, 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 tippy top. <sighs> Sorry about the snuffles today. It's really cold downstairs. Uh, we have stone floors downstairs and w stone and wood floors downstairs. And so it's cold down there. And this room is nice and warm, so... Usually I complain about how hot it is up here. Not today. I'm super happy. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm lining it up right on the edge of my stitching just so that it looks nice. And oh my gosh, you guys, I just got into, I stuck my hand right into uh, the fabric hack. Yikes. That's a mess. Let me put that back. I was going to have to dig one out anyway, right? Oh my goodness. All right, I have a nice dry one. I, I pull them off, you know, use them a little bit. And if I don't use them all up, then I let them dry out and then I use them to as dry wet wipes. So that's what this one is. And I normally am not so concerned, but that was a big glob of glue that I was just going to end up getting on everything. All right. Now I'm going to try to set this one the same place. And I'm not going to worry about the space over here because I'm going to put lace over there. I did leave it open here, right? <laughs> Got so excited. I might have closed it up and not even paid attention. Yeah, I did leave that open. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get some. Oh, yeah, the glue's coming out pretty good right now. I don't seem to have much strength in my hands today. It's all this cold. Not really complaining, just commenting. 
All right, here we go. Sorry, I'm going to be quiet for just a minute while I try to get... I want it to kind of eyeball it. Oh, gosh, I see some stuff leaking out right there. I did get a little crazy with that, didn't I? <laughs> I want to leave that space. I'm going to keep pulling on it a little bit. And I did go a little crazy with the glue. But that's okay. Because it finally did just start coming out all of a sudden. I did see a little thread here somewhere. That was bugging me. Well, wherever it went, I think it glued itself down in the glue. You guys see it? Hold on a minute. I'm going to get you. I, I'm going to get you. Come here, my pretty. No dangling threads allowed on my work. That comes from being a seamstress. We leave zero threads on anything. Anytime I get something with threads hanging on it, I got to cut it off immediately. I cannot stand it. <laughs> I don't like ragged lace or fabric or anything, but that just because that's habit. You know, your training's your training. Okay, so I'm going to use my hands a little bit to warm it up because it doesn't want to dry. It's, it is cold in here. But the sun is streaming through the windows right now, so... All right, the pockets are on, yay. They gave me nothing but fits. <laughs> Sometimes a project just zips along and other times you hit a snag and you, you're like, why is this so difficult? And it's not, you just have a moment, you know? And I can admit I have my moments. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna put some lace here. Gosh darn, that's wider than I want. I really don't want it to come over there. I was thinking this was thinner than it is. I have some thinner lace in the white, but I don't. I, 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 I don't, I think it's up on my, up way up high where, on my top, top shelf. I'm going to look in a drawer I have here and see if I have any more down, but I think it's all up on my top shelf. Hmm. I might have to wait to finish that part until, oh dear. Hmm. I thought that would be thin enough. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what that was that just went by. Um, I may have to close my window. I swear it's always something. Hopefully, um, YouTube will will uh, cut that out. <laughs> well, guys, I don't see my thinner my thinner lace. Oh gosh. Okay, let me. I'm digging under my desk. I have a box of lace under here. But I think these are all my... No thin ones there. Let me see. All right. I think that was a motorcycle, motorized bicycle that went by. Um, somebody must have got it for Christmas. We, got, we have quite a few teenagers that have moved into the neighborhood with all the new housing a lot of people have been buying in the area because they're having trouble getting their houses built right now um finished so a lot of people are buying existing homes and oops i just knocked the camera sorry guys whoops so i don't i really haven't got a thinner i don't think that's thinner these are not vintage laces these all come from michael's and joann's and too thick oh gosh I think that one's gonna be too thick too because that's the exact same lace isn't it let's see if it is sorry I'm standing up at the moment yep that's just as wide as the others so I don't know let me see if this one oh that's pretty let's use that okay see it was worth foraging through the Eight million boxes of laces I have. I 
I'm sorry, you guys. I I don't know. I'm I was so prepared, haha, ha, and I thought that that would be okay, haha, ha, and it wasn't. So, oh well, you know how it goes. You know, I am. I make my boo boos along with everybody else. All right, no perfection here, nor am I setting myself up that way either. So I, for those of you who've asked me a number of times about laces, I hope I answered your question thoroughly enough. Um, I'm not avoiding the question. I just have a big supply, as you can see. I do buy some of my laces at Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby. If you don't have those stores, um, I guess look at whatever big box stores you do have and see if maybe, you know, they have some good laces for you. And lace is funny. It's personal. You know, I think uh, this has all these funky little things on here, so I'm going to cut them off. Um, everybody has a different eye for lace. A lace that I might love, someone else might go, yuck, you know. So I'm kind of hesitant to say, oh, yeah, go get that because I don't know, you know. I might love it, but you might go, ooh, what is she thinking? What is her issue here? Trying to find, this is the toughest lace just to see the top and the bottom. I don't want the points to go that way because then they'll get caught. Now, someone's gonna say, your folio's opening on the wrong side. No, it isn't. You can open it on either side. You know, there is no right or wrong. There's no such thing as a left-handed or right-handed folio. It's just a folio folder. It's technically a clutch bag. So there isn't, it's really gonna open this way. It just happens to be the prints right here. And in order to do the prints the way I wanted, I had it open on this side. Okay, so just again, personal choice, what you like, you know, what you think looks good. Um, because really in paper crafting, there are no rights and wrongs because somebody dreamed up, dreamed up every one of these ideas at some point. Someone made up all this paper crafting junk journaling, all of that. It, there's no school for it. There's no training. There's no right and wrong. There's no proper way to glue. There's no proper way to cut. You could do whatever you want. Yes, there are things that are easier than others, and it's nice that, that people are willing to share. You know, maybe they found a really easy way to do something, um, but, I mean, they're really... It's your preference. It's totally yours, and it's totally creative and it's totally your creativity which is subjective just like all art so i'm on my soapbox because i had some comments that bothered me a bit and um so and then i see other youtubers get picked on and i don't like to get on my soapbox but i it bothers me when people say oh someone's always picking on how i glue or how i cut or you know, what side I folded it on, or it's like, come on, really? You do what works for you. I mean, what, what might be easy for one person might not be easy for another. Just like we all went to these Sugar Bell bottles because they were easier on your hands. And many, many, many of us have arthritis or wrist problems or finger problems. So, you know, they have been a godsend for so many of us that and just like the scissors, you know, they, we find something that works, man. We go for it and we tell everybody. And that is as it should be. But we all have our own individual taste, especially when it comes to creativity. Now that I've done it on that side, I'm feeling like to make it look good, I want it on this side too. Because, you know... <laughs> The seamstress to me is like, it's not even. You need something on both sides. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a seamstress or if it's just the A-type personality I am. I am not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it on both sides because I love this. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even think of using this until just now. It's just beautiful. I don't know. There's these funny little, must be from when it comes off the machine in the factory. There's these little things. See these? They're sticking out and they're driving me nuts out. So I'm going to cut them off. Oh, I'm having a goofy day. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to get on my soapbox. I really, really, really didn't. I just... Sometimes we have things that we hear that bother us, and they sit in our heads, and they ruminate, and they rumble around in there. 
And since I'm real, as I told someone, maybe I'm too real sometimes. But since I'm real, and I promise to keep it real with you, and it's not, you know, pre-recorded or edited or whatever, you're getting the real me. And you're getting how I create, what I like. I am not a new crafter. I've been crafting all my life. I've been sewing all my life, you know. So I'm just here to share what I'm making. This is what I'm doing today, and this is how I like to do it. And yes, I did appreciate someone sharing with me about using the scoreboard because I don't know that much about it. Hadn't used it much. Just got one. So I was happy for her tip, you know, so, um, but on the norm, I mean, we're just here to do our own thing and share with you guys. And if it helps you and it, it inspires you and it makes you want to be creative, we're just thrilled. That's what we're here for. And we're here to share our ideas and be in our creativity, but it's hard to do this. This is you're you're putting yourself out there. You're you're very exposed when you're doing a video, and it's very easy for people to give you quote unquote constructive criticism. And as far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as constru constructive criticism. Criticism is criticism. Period. So that's a no no. So don't do it to others, please. Artists don't need criticism, ever, of any kind, constructive or otherwise, because this is our art and we're putting ourselves out there and it's very difficult to do this, especially to make a video and craft at the same time. Sometimes you're doing conscious talking, meaning you're just talking while you're working, so you're not always thinking about everything you're saying and doing, although we should, but it's hard to do both, and sometimes we say or do something and... We're like, uh-oh, that's going to cause a problem. Yeah, uh, not meaning to. Okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm loving it. Kind of, it, this sort of seems snowy to me. Icy, snowy, kind of pretty. Looks good with the birdie. All right, our pockets are in, and technically, it's done. But I do want to add, oh, you guys, I just did it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up while it's still wet real quick. Eek, 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 eek. For a reason, right to about here. Let me just pull this up real quick. Just a little bit. Okay. I got to get some pockets in there. I forgot. I need to add some more pockets. Or I want to add more pockets. Now, I don't know if my gold vellum is going to work. Let me see. I want to add another pocket, but I want it to be somewhat see-through. Maybe I will put the see-through on this side and maybe a more solid pocket over there. That way you can still see the birdie. Oh gosh, I hate to cover that up, but just in general. Maybe I won't use the gold vellum because I... Oh, does that have glue on it? Oh. Let me look again. Maybe I could do the cold polka dots on this side and the clear on that side. Let's see, do I have any clear? I thought I had my clear vellum in here too. Did I put both in here? No. Oh, okay, where is, hold on a minute, pardon me, I am still here, hold please, I've got my head down, I have colored vellum, I have plain vellum, I have pink vellum, I've got it in like every, I have a vellum uh, addiction, <laughs> I think I have a vellum addiction. So I just get this on Amazon. I just put in vellum on Amazon and this popped up. Okay, I don't have a particular source. And you know on Amazon, um, they don't tell you who it's by unless you're like unless you're saying vellum by Tim Holtz or something like that. They don't have that. So <clears throat> when you go on Amazon, you just get whatever, you know, and usually there's no tag or anything on the bag. There's usually a little white label with some kind of a part number. So that's pretty much how my, my vellum came. So I don't have a, as you can see, this is the package it came in. It just came plain in an envelope. So I just get it on, um, I just get it on Amazon. I have moved my paper cover, cutter and my um, scoreboards right next to me in a little basket on the floor so I can just reach down and get what I need. Now I have to, um, yay, my new ruler. I'm going to use it. Let's see. I mean, how big do I want this? It's about 
almost a little short of five inches. So what I'll do is I'll cut a five inch first and then I'll cut it down the other way. Let me get it here. So anyway, sorry about the soapbox, but I don't want to be mean or anything. I just, <sighs> just read some comments and then I did my video, which kind of left me a little Three and three quarters, I'm going to say. Let's see if that's the size I want. If it is, I'll cut two. Yeah, see, if we put the, if we put the vellum pocket in. Oh, 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 it stuck itself down. Ah, come on now. I'm going to end up cutting my finger off here. Hold on. All right. I'll cut it a little shorter. But if we cover it up, you still see the birdie. I could just leave it pocket like that, but I kind of like, I, I like the idea of an extra pocket there. Does that work on this side? Of course it's glued itself down already. Oh. You want it to glue, it doesn't. You don't want it to. Now see that three and three quarters where it's per perfect over there, but then it's a little, um, Let me get this one cut. Yep, that's the right height. And because I have this already, oh, no, it's still cold and wet in here, so yay. This one's just a hair short. That's so weird. Those two are cut identical, but you know, whatever. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right. Now, oh, chilly, chilly. Um, I'm going to got glue on my fingertips, and I can't feel. Let me get this like sort of centered. Well, we won't get it centered because you know I never do anything in the middle. I could I could measure, but I don't. All right. Oh, by the way, I did ink it. I forgot to tell you that. I used Aged Mahogany Distress Ink by Tim Holtz all the way around this and on the pockets on all the pieces. It's very strong color, so you kind of have to use it sparingly because it, I mean, ooh, I was red. Everything I touched was red. I kind of made a huge mess with it, honestly. So, boy, my hands were a mess. My husband said, are you okay? Did you cut yourself? I said, no, it's thing. Because it didn't, I put so much on, I didn't realize it was a heavier ink that it left red all over my hands, left my hands really red. And so he thought... I cut myself or something and I said, no, I handled it before it was dry. Didn't realize I had left excess ink on there. So that's my funny story. He thought I hurt myself and I did not. Okay, so this one's cut. Oh wait, one's cut shorter than the other. So which one is it? Which one's the shorty one? Wait, this is my shorty one, yep. This is the long one. That one I might have to round that corner just so it fits in there correctly because it just doesn't seem to want to fit in there all that well. You notice I'm trying not to touch the ink. Otherwise I'm gonna have little red lines all over me again. I thought it was the perfect color. You see, you don't really see it it's just a, a, a hint. It's a good little, um, there. All right, this one, I'm gonna clip a corner. Where's my corner clipper? Oh, let's see, I don't think I use this corner clipper. I think I use the, um, my chomper for that corner rounder. But I think it should still fit in there the same. Yes, oh, look at that, perfect. 
All right, and then that kind of covers, I know it covers up the stitching, but you can still see the stitching through it. I mean, you don't have the stitching. I don't know. I just did it. Have to see it. I didn't stitch this on after because where I wanted my stitching and where the pockets ended were two different places. And I didn't want a lot of like double layers of stitching on the front. So, but you do you. If you want to do that, be my guest. So, do whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, wait. That's the back corner. Yes. Okay. I am going to use a fabric tack because I've had no wrinkling with this at all. Doesn't have any water in it. Vellum and water do not like each other. They are not friends. So I find any glue that has any water in it, um, it doesn't like it. It's very crabby. I don't know if my head's in this. I apologize if it is, but at least today, yes, I did do my hair. I wasn't lazy today. I got up and did my hair today. Okay, I had to move it up just a little bit. I noticed it slid down the page just a bit. And then I'll go back and glue that back on when I'm sure I've got everything right where I want it. Still letting me rip it up, so we're good. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here. And basically, this clutch folio is done, but I'm going to go ahead and make some tags to put in here while you're watching. Finish the closure. Share that with you. Now we're ready to glue this baby down again. Yeah, and the glue's coming out great. It's finally warmed up enough in here. And I use the wet one to kind of keep all that stuff off. I did order some little tools to help with that, um, so I'm not handling the glue so much. I have one. Um, it's kind of a little... Uh, paint brush thing but this one's not very firm so when you push on it it just gives but I did order one that's supposed to work better or I can use my little spatula which I learned that little trick from Maggie White and now a bunch of us use it thank you Maggie I think she watches every now and then she's busy with her own channel and her shop. It's hard for other YouTubers to watch each other because as much as we want to, gosh, we just, we're busy making our own YouTube. And it takes a lot of time. So you, there's that wet one. I don't want to get that all gunky. Because then it fills up the cap full of, the cap gets just full of um, glue. Then it doesn't stay on and then your glue dries out. So, all right. I'm really sorry about the lectures today, guys. I feel bad. Alrighty, now we could put lace across the bottom. But I think, what do I want to decorate with now? Let me, um, let's go to, oh gosh, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> Let me put my, I'm trying to, um, organize myself more even like I'm going to make sure that this vellum goes in here with the polka dot one so I have them together I just grab one pouch and you know I don't have to be searching all over my room for vellum uh, I don't have a colored in there yet but I can um, color vellum so what I'll do is when I get a chance maybe I'll create a color vellum one because I have pink and then I have one that has all the colors of the rainbow my daughter turned me on to that uh, I didn't know there was multiple colors. I knew I could get pink, but I didn't know it came in blue and green and yellow and all kinds of colors. Found it on Amazon. All right. Amazon is my friend. So, remember those pieces we cut off that I was fussing about? Here they are. They are going to be my tags. And what I want to do is I have some, these are my sample tags. Oh. Let me get 
tag punch and my corner rounder. As you could see, look, brother and sister, <laughs> one in each hand. I'm a double puncher. <laughs> okay. I'm in a weird mood today, you guys. Watch out. It's crazy. Oh, I want them to be very tall. I want them to be tall tags. So I'm thinking to write about here would be a good place. Let me get my scissors. I think this would make a great tall tag. And I am going to... I want a pretty good. I feel like this one gives me sometimes some crazy edges that I don't get with my little hand one. All right. Um, I am going to try my new little tag punch. Look at that. See, I get some perfect little tags. Or if I wanted them deeper, you know, I could use this. Um, so I just wanted a little one at the top. I also have this size, you know. Actually, that matches that, so it's good to know when, I make, when I'm working with that size that I can just use my little punch and get it. So let's get this one tall. How tall do we want this one? I actually want this one a bit taller. I want to get as much of this print on here as I can. Now I've created two smaller tags we can use. Oh, sorry. Um, sometimes, honestly, I prefer this little one to the chomper. I think the chomper works great when you're working on, like, big multiple layers. Um, so... Look how easy that is. Perfect every time. So we now have, uh-oh, I made it to make that my top and that my bottom. Well, that's easy enough. I wonder if I could still stick that in there. What do you think? Do you think it'll work? Let's see, what do we get if we do that? Oh, we get a tag. No worries. All right. <laughs> oh, I wanted it to be taller and it ended up shorter. Well, what a goof. All right. You can fix anything, right? Got so excited about all my punches. Having a day. Having a day. All right. Let's get out our lovely Distress Ink. Oof. And this is why I wanted to keep these. I didn't want to use every one because I knew I wanted some tall tags out of them without cutting another sheet of paper. Because this is a precious paper to me. I'm going to hoard a little bit of it for a little while. Now, if you don't want the print on the back because you think it might be too hard to write on, um... Give me a minute here, I'm thinking. We can put paper on the back. That's so pretty, but I could see where you would have to use a very dark pen, a black pen, a Sharpie, maybe a, a fine tip Sharpie. You could write on that. But I would think it would give whoever, you know, is using it uh, a hassle. So I do, I did bring some big sheets of coffee paper. I really like this coffee paper. I did bring some of those along to lay on there and cut out. Or if I don't want to use that, I can use, um, what else have I got on my desk? I'm just looking to see what I've left on my desk that I haven't put away yet. That, excuse my arm. I have some parchment paper. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that. And what I'm going to do with that is... I'm going to move my little... Well, I'm leaving my folio out to dry. So let's see how wide this is so we can make some tags. I'm not doing anything you haven't seen like a million times, I know. But that's what I'm doing to finish it up. So now I've got that edge cleaned up. 
it is now four and three quarters. So if I go I'm terrible with measurements. Uh, you would think I would be better being a, someone who sews, but there we go. I wanted to see how much I could get out of it. I didn't want to waste it. I love the print on the back, so I don't want to completely get rid of it, right? So what I thought is if I just did a little bit, you know, started it halfway down and maybe um, part way up. I'm not going to cut this. Don't, don't worry. Okay. So if I make it about six inches, it would be, would be okay. Let's try it on both of them. I don't know. It might be too long on one and not long enough on the other, right? Let's just try this. I mean, this is no biggie. It's just not scrap paper, you know. There we go. That looks pretty. Let's make sure we put it on the right side, though, huh? <clears throat> Give it a pretty little edge, right? It's those little finishing touches, I think, that make something more special than just being a scrap of paper. Rounding the corners kind of changes it all of a sudden. It's fancier. Got a little fancy fancy. This paper uh, kind of has one side that's got a little bit of a dimension on it, a texture. So I usually like to leave that on the right side up. And yeah, because this side's flat and this side has a bit of dimension on it. Boy, the tools are piling up on the side of my desk again. I do like my tools. My husband's very proud of me. Him being a professional mechanic all his life, heavy equipment and otherwise, there's anything he didn't work on um, for the power company. ATVs, semis, you name it. Uh, cars. Motor motorbikes. Not motorcycles, but like the kind that go up in the hills, foothills. I guess those are ATVs. So he always has, he has a massive toolbox that when he retired, he brought home. Oh my gosh. He's like, honey, I'm going to bring home my toolbox. And I remember it being fairly big <laughs> until he brought it home. And I went, wow. Okay. Where are we going to put that, honey? The garage is already full of tools and things. So we found room for now. We're going to reorganize the garage after Christmas and see if we can get it in there better. Kind of got an idea of where it could go. Right now, it's sort of in the beginning of the garage when you open the door because he's using it. You know, he does fix things all the time. He is a very handy, handy guy. As you know, I told you he built a wall and <sighs> irrigation and just project after project all summer long. And come March, yay, we're going to be getting rid of all the carpet in the house, the stone floors, the current flooring we have now, which is a wood kind of it's not real wood um i'm not sure what it is we're gonna get rid of that we're getting rid of all the flooring in the whole house so we're getting all new flooring no carpet we're dumping that because we have cats and they have accidents we get sick all the time well not all the time but enough they get scared or nervous and have an accident so we're gonna go to something a little less messy easier to clean so I will be out of this studio for a little bit at some point. I'm not sure when, but it's going to happen. Okay, now, what do I want to put on the top of that? Let me grab my other bag. I love my gale bags. My gale bags are where I keep all of my tools, as you can see. See, I have all my, my fancy tools in my gale bags because these are canvas and they're heavy duty, and so they're perfect. I think I'm going to use this big punch that Gail uses all the time. So how do I unlock it? There we go. Okay. All right. Make sure I'm using it correctly. 
I've got it set for where I want it to punch at. There we go. I always have trouble getting this thing centered, no matter how hard I try. I even tried measuring. It didn't do me any good because you can't see the measurement. There we go. But that's okay. Empty those little things out of there. All right. I'll leave that out for now. I have a big pile of tools. I might as well just add to it, right? Take that down for a minute. So I want to put some tags on here. Um, i got to move my iPad Oops, off my desk. I probably shouldn't throw that around. That was probably a bad thing I just did. I just threw it clear across my room. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Oh, she has so many lovely tags that, you know, I have lots to choose from here. Ah, here we go. Are these on sticker paper? No, I learned my lesson after that last one. Oh, but that one is. That one is. So I have two different colors here. I'm just looking at all my color choices. I even have some green, but the green it's the wrong green, I think. All right. Um... Mm, this is really pretty. I think I, I'm gonna use our sticker paper. Why don't we use the kind on one? As you know, all of us dislike cutting in circles and ovals, but they're so darn pretty. You don't want to not use them, you know? One of my favorite shapes, but this one kind of looks like a football. <laughs> kind of left a little point there. I got a football going here. Ah, oh, where's my little, little scissors? There we go. Let me try that. Oh, the kids are outside playing today. It's sunny. Oh, does that look like it just was made for it or what? Oh my goodness, so pretty. All righty, I'm gonna put that on there. I'm not gonna put anything behind it because I don't think it needs it. When you're using a sticker, a little trick, here's your sticker paper, whatever kind, whether it's vellum or whatever, you have the sticker back, right? And then you have print front. Take your thumb, roll it down the front of the sticker and voila, it comes right off. Just roll it. Don't try to pick it with your fingernail because half the time you can't do it. Or you don't have a thumbnail or a fingernail. Mine are trashed right now from all this crafting. I've got to get my nails done. All right. And I was thinking just a little bit of lace on the bottom of that. And we would be good to go. I'm looking to see what white lace I have that's available. That, too wide. You don't want anything that wide. I just want a little bit of something on here. I'm using white because this has white and cream and tan in it. I could use any of the colors. So... Although this one, I can never tell the difference between the front and the back. I think this is the... I'm going to cut two pieces because I'm going to want to kind of have them match. All right, I'm looking at my pile here. Hold on. So I think this is where I want it to be. Let's see if this is the right one. I don't mind trimming it after. I'd rather cut it a little big, but if I cut it too small, oh my gosh, we're in trouble. You guys, I hope my head hasn't been in here. I apologize if it has. My husband has me zoomed in or zoomed out. I mean, I think zoomed out today. I'm not sure. Like I said, I always bang my head on this darn thing. <laughs> so he has to reset it all the time, which mm, doesn't make his day. All right. Checking my time, I have about 10 more minutes. So we'll just make tags and things for this for about 10 minutes. I should probably go back to the, before I make any more tags, I should go back to the front and see if there's, I do wanna put an eyelet in it. And I'm hoping I have, I think I have some burgundy colored seam binding. Okay, we'll let that dry. I'm gonna put another word on now. I also have these words. These are from her Valentine set. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they're up there. Let's 
although it has love words in it, it has other things like wishes and forever. And I like forever. That's pretty. I like my long blades, so I just get one chomp and not 15 million little short stubby chomps because the blades are short and stubby. And I'm still using the the uh, Tim Holtz aged mahogany. Put that down there. Let's see if I have a scrap of something to put under that one. I mean, it doesn't have to match the other one exactly, right? I'm getting quite a mess here. My little lace bucket. Let's see. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted. I wanted a piece of... I don't know if I have any in here. Cheesecloth. Probably at the bottom. I didn't find cheesecloth, but I see something else really cool. I don't really see that all that well. Could add a little aged mahogany to it. What else have I got? Oh, here's a bit of cheesecloth. I just have a bit, a very small bit. And we could do like, you don't really see it, so I don't think it adds anything, honestly. It just sort of disappears there. So I think I'll just put that on there. I don't think these tags have to be super fancy. We can just keep them somewhat simple. I switched up my basket here to a bigger one. Oh yeah, that goes with it. This is called Basque, B-A-S-Q-U-E. And this is from My Scrap Cabin. Somebody else was asking me about this. I usually try to say I don't give links, guys. So for those of you who are new, I don't do links and, and all that good stuff. Um, so just have to listen. I just want a little short stubby because I made the tag so long. I don't want it sticking out of the top, but I meant I just cut this a little too short. I think I did. Yeah, I cut it short, you guys. Whoops. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh my gosh, the kids are having a good time. You probably won't hear this because I did notice it seems like uh, lately YouTube is filtering out sounds. I'll hear a bang. I'll hear it on my phone where I, where I film it. But then when it, it's posted by YouTube, it's the sound's not there. So they must be cleaning things up for us because I don't know why, but I don't know why, but I think they're doing it for us because I'm not hearing sounds although that is distracting to me and I'm finding it difficult for me to sorry about that I now just changed all the light in here too <laughs> my camera's probably like what are you doing today I feel like I'm mumbling I apologize if I am hopefully not I was really excited to um finish this with you today I know it's lately I've been working off camera a lot so I'm trying to get back on here I'm working off this the field I don't want to rip this because it's very delicate
keep forgetting to bring some Q-tips in here. I know someone said that was a good way to do the corners, so I'll have to see if I can, or maybe some old makeup brushes, some tiny little ones. Eyeshadow brushes would work great, um, or paint brushes. Let's see, I do have, I did bring it. I wonder if I have like a, I had brought in a set of, oh, they're too big, old makeup brushes. And um, but the ones I have are too big, they would not work. But I will look through my, I sold cosmetics for years and skincare. So I have tons and tons everywhere. So there's two tags to go into these lovely pockets. Oh, whoops, let's trim this. Otherwise they're not going to go in. There's my elbow again. Such a rude elbow, so it's sticking itself in there. All right, so let's put that in there. And let me trim this one up. I always try to round it just a bit. There we go. All right. There we are. So, now you see why I did tall tags, though. Whew, you wouldn't even see them if I cut them any shorter, would you? All righty. Let's find... Now, you could decorate these pockets up. I'm going to find all the pieces that I cut from the kit, which wasn't a lot. There's not a lot of pieces in this kit. I cut out everything I could get my little pinkies on. Alrighty, let's see what we have. We don't have very long. I see that my time is running out. Oh, that's really pretty right there. I think um, it doesn't cover up much. There's not much there. It's just a, a little bit of a snowy scene. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna do some quick inking. All right, let's do that. And I'm actually gonna bring it just slightly off the pocket. And I'm gonna glue halfway across so we make another tuck. I didn't do the best job cutting this circle, I have to tell you. I wasn't having one of my better days when I cut this one out. But, you know, nobody cut circles great, so I don't feel bad. I know how to get a good circle. I just don't always get one. All right. Now this one, if I was going to put anything, I would put it there. I don't really see anything. I feel like I got to put on there. I'll look around at my stuff and, and my next... Um, I'll put a word down there, though. I could use a word. Let's see. What word do I have? have love so it might be kind of pretty down there with him I also have the um, ornamental words that Jolene has and I have them in a couple of different colors because I print them on different papers they're one color but when I print them on I print this I printed them on parchment cardstock so they came out darker then I printed some on the Avery sticker paper and they came out this color and then I printed these on my presentation paper and they came out this color so I basically have one set of tags, three different colors that I can use based on what I'm working with. So if I want something nice and light, you know, I can do that. But I think I'm hooked on these little tags from Jolene's kit. And I don't know, you'll find these in her shop. I'm not sure the name of these. I honestly am not. Um, we have Grow, Antique, Pretty, we have Kind. Let's do Love. Let's do Love. I like... But then we have pretty and it's much brighter. I'm going to do the bright one instead of the dull one. That one is um, not um, sticker paper. So I'll have to actually... What was I going to put on there? Oh, love. Yeah. Boy, my brain. Tired. All right. I have a tired... Oh, those scissors. I love them. They're super sharp. But I do not like to fussy cut with them. They have such a serrated edge that they tend to grab the paper. 
And so it doesn't let me maneuver the scissors around like this in a circle. Um, they don't slide across the blades. They grab. So I'll end up with kind of a messier finish if I use those to fussy cut. I prefer my little embroidery scissors for that. These are my mom's. They're too dull for embroidery, but they're perfect for this. They're too dull for any kind of sewing, but they're great for this. I didn't mean to put quite that much ink on there. I didn't realize there was so much on my little brush. Okay, I'm just going to put that down on the bottom. Still thinking I want a little bit of lace there. Do I have time? Oh, I don't. I'm out of time. Darn it. I will put it there, and then I will go back, and I, because I want you to see that, I will add um, some, maybe some lace to the very bottom. And on my next, this is technically done, but on my next video, whenever that will be, which I believe is going to be New Year's Day, um, I will go back and show you all, all the little, any little details I add, or if I add more lace, or but the way this is supposed to be is this is supposed to be a tag holder. So if these are your tags, these are from the kit. See, I could put one there. And I can put one there. These are journaling cards and tags that you can put in here. Not a lot of choices, but there's a few, you know, in the kit. They don't have a lot. So you can hold all of your little bits and pieces in here. That's the goal for this. I'm gonna make some more big tags to put in there. I'm gonna fill this up completely. So as you can see, there we have our tag holder. You close it up and all we need is some kind of a closure and tie. You could decorate this with some lace if you want. I'm planning to wrap some lace um, actually here and here, I think I'm going to put some lace on here, but as usual, I am running out of time. So, oh, uh, I could go over a little bit. You know, maybe I will. I just hate leaving things undone. It just, I don't really like to do that. So let me, I'm going to put this lace across here. So that it kind of, it's just covering the, a little bit of that and let me get that cut and then I'll trim it later since Fabri-Tac dries so quickly I'm just going to cover the stitching there and the fold and I'm going to come just a little ways I don't know how far I'm going to come out so I'll just come out a little ways just to show you how I'm going to finish this where did I put my... All right, let me trim that. Let me turn that off. Originally I was going to wrap it around the flap, but I think I like where it is better. All right, there we go. All right, now one more I'm going to do back here. Now I could use the exact same lace. Do I want to? Or do I want to use a different one? I was going to use this wide one, but I'm wondering if that's going to bother anything. It would mostly be here. does frame the roses nicely. 
It's not exactly the same white, but it doesn't have to be. Or we can do identical. Um, I don't think I want to overpower it with a lace. It isn't a big journal. So I think if it was a big journal, I would use the wider lace. But I think I'll go ahead and use this one since it does match that one. And I'll put that on. Oh, oh, I cut that really crooked, boy. Good thing I left extra. Oh, I'm getting warm now. Getting nervous. As I said, try to get quite a bit on the spine. I didn't do so well on the other piece. It also strengthens the spine because this is just paper. I mean, it's not like this is a book that's going to be read. It's basically just kind of a card holder. You could use it for this or for ephemera. You know, if you needed a pocket ephemera holder, you could add more, a couple of uh, vellum pockets on top of that other one, giving, um, giving yourself quite a few um, spaces for that. Let's see. For putting more stuff in your pockets. If you added more vellum. Okay, let's trim it. We will add, oh, flip it over. It's so much easier to trim from this side, honestly. That can go into my bucket. I like bits and pieces in my buckets. This is a kind of a stretchy um, elastic, which is technically lingerie elastic, but it will work very well as a tie around a cover, but I don't think I want to tie this one with that. I could. Oh, see, isn't that pretty? There we go. There's the back. There's the front. I do need to add some glue there. I missed it completely. Oi. Oi. My goodness. I did miss it. Okay. I may add uh, some more trim to this. I'm, I'm thinking I'm not happy enough with that. I'm thinking I'm going to need more, more, much more trim for that. Let me see if I can add my punch. Excuse my arm. Oh, gosh. Oh, what a mess. Goodness. Sorry. I don't know what you guys can see, so like, let's try to clean off some of what you might see. Oh, okay, there we go. I know it bothers some people to see a lot of stuff on a work desk. Um, they prefer to see clear, and I prefer it too, to a certain extent, so I'm with them. Let's get our chomper out. Okay. Let me find some. What color do I want here? Those are a little bit pinky. Two brown. Maybe these. Maybe one of these. What do we think? Yep, it goes with that red perfectly. Look at that, it's sitting right on there and almost disappears. Okay. Oh, as you can see, I bought all kinds of eyelets when I first got this thing because I knew I would want, and I've kept a little card so I'd know what to reorder. Um, I knew I would want to, um, you know, use them up. I wanted a lot of colors. I didn't want to just have one color. I do definitely want to see if I can find the middle of this. Oh, goodness. I don't know. That's going to be too hard to do it that way. Let's see. What do we got? What's the middle of this? Eight inches. So right at four. Let me get my pencil. This I will measure. Cause I'm going off of this line there and that line there. And so four is going to be my dot right there. All right. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. Okay. <sighs> Ouch. Now, where's my, okay. 
have to decide. Oh, I need to move this back a little bit to get it where I want it. Okay, let's do this. Yay! Right where it's supposed to be. Woohoo! Okay, so we got that. I get that little, I don't know why these do not fall out like they should. Everybody has to do that. Okay, fingers crossed. This isn't my easiest thing to do, but I, mean, I like doing it. It's not that hard. I just got to not let it move and then crunch that wrong way. So we will get some ribbon or I think I'm going to be using this. I need to reorder this. I'm going to have to place an order. There's a couple colors that I'm getting way out of. Um, I don't really know how long to go. I want it to go pretty long. So let's do that. And then I'm just going to Come on now. There we go. Let's make sure these are pretty even. Not quite, but almost. Okay, and then we'll take a loop, pull it through the loop. Now we can either wrap it this way and go like this and maybe hang some charms on the bottom of that, or we can go one one way and one the other way, meet back into the front and tie ourselves a little bit of a short bow. And ta-da, I did not get that on there very tight, but you got the idea, right? Hmm. there's our bow so that's one those are a couple different ways to do that and you now have your clutch technically it goes this way your clutch bag holder tag holder clutch tag holder and that gives you some place to put your tags pretty pretty tags it's a great gift uh i think or it's just a good little especially for someone who maybe is collecting too much ephemera. You don't have to make it in like a, oh, you guys, I'm struggling with this for some weird reason. I don't know. <sighs> Probably the way I put it on there. <laughs> anyway, it's a great holder for someone who maybe has a, some quite a bit of ephemera. And you don't have to do it in a print like this. It could be a very simple, basic, so that it could be just used as, a, as an ephemera holder. But if you want it to be pretty, you've got the idea can definitely add, you know, um, maybe a little cluster here, some more lace here and bling, which I'm probably going to do um, because, you know, I'm not excited about how plain this looks. So I know I will be doing some more work on it, but basically this is done and you see how it's finished and, you know, how it's used and all that good stuff. So I want to thank you all for coming along and hanging out with me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I especially appreciate your comments, your likes, and sharing my channel with others. It means the world to me. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful and a happy New Year's Eve and a wonderful New Year's Day. And I should be back on New Year's Day with a very fun, quick little project for those of you who want something to do, want to start your New Year off with a fun little project. So I will see you all then. Okay, you guys. Hugs and kisses. Love you all. Bye-bye.